all right welcome back my wonderful people this one is another wonderful one hmm Omar here <laughs> Omar and Peter B. Well, if you are living in the west, in the east, in the south, you must have heard about Omar, the governor of a Bonyi state. That is a comment that he made. He said, I will host Peter B in a Bonyi. I like what he is doing. My wonderful people, this gladdens my heart. And it is very interesting to bring to your notice that. The Bonyi State Governor of course, David Omaya have disclosed plans to host the president, candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, in his very state, Bonyi State. Omar here, while speaking on Arise TV on Friday, expressed his admiration for the activities of Peter Obi leading to the 2023 general elections. The governor described Obi as a friend and denied ever, ever saying what Obi would not get any vote in a Bosnian state. He said, as I quote, I never in any way, in any form, all oh, my outstanding and utterance mentioned Peter Obi. Peter Obi, of course, is a friend. He said, I'm going to host him in a Bosnian state and I will host him publicly. While speaking, he says, I like what he is doing and it is very encouraging. On today's day, Bonny State Governor was quoted in the past to have said Peter B would not get any vote in the state. He has now denied making such comment and accused the People's Democratic Party, of course PDP, in his state of uh, orchestrating such narrative. On today's, he also noted during the interview that the Igbos lost out massively in the All Progressive Congress and the PDP during the presidential primaries. My wonderful people, a lot of reactions, a lot, when I say a lot, I mean thousands of youth, thousands of reactions, thousands of Nigerians, youth reacting to these comments, single comment made by Umaya. One thing, one good thing I am talking from this man. One I should take from this man is that uh, he's been courageous to say what he, he feels personally about an opposition or about an opposite candidate. It can only take a courageous man to be that frank. Honestly speaking, unlike Umahia that I know. Well, the truth has been that Umahia, I can boldly say that uh, hated P2B. Now you are liking him. You thought he would be a failure. Obviously, the vibrant youth are behind him. He is now, you know, he is non uncompromised. He is his uncompromised individual, and that is what only good Nigerians will like those days in the terms of hood leadership. My wonderful people, the truth has been that I want to believe that uh, our amiable governor have seen the hand written on the wall. Obi is a project of the almighty God. It is no disturbable. No taboo prophet word over is taken about and talking about Peter Obi. God's admiration to use Nigeria as a case study. All the people who never or who ever said one thing or the other against Peter's uh, mission in president or to becoming the president of Nigeria have found themselves in the place of regret. My wonderful people, the only reason OB can only win this election is that uh, he will reconcile fully. Yes, Umaya, when he has stretched forth his hand to welcome in his friend, his brother, who he has been in mismatch with. Now, they have seen the hand written on the wall. You see? Uh, dear Governor Mahia, it is true you said uh, Peter will, be, will not get any vote in a Bonny state. But if you now change your mouth and tongue to say you like what he's doing, and that is very encouraging because you see, say, fire day on mountain. Problem, no problem, but you must apologize falsely to obey that youthfulness before. We go forgive you. That has been unto this, my wonderful people. That's not more I will say. That is what Umaya will do. Not only we're coming now hosting P2B, he has offended not only Obi, but his followers as long as this news is concerned. This is because he has succeeded in a 
plotting uh, demi candidate in a bunny Labour Party. This is just a strategy, okay, to smoke and cream obedient in the state. Well, my wonderful people, anyone is up to say whatever you want to say. I'm saying this because most Nigerians who commented innocently, their comment must be heard. The best way to go for a Bonny state governor is not just the hosting of P2B, but to join, but to join hands together with him against the current administration and their cohorts to rescue and to rescue the country from the current situation of things that are causing all types of havoc to the citizens of the country under the administ present administration which is APC. My wonderful people, we will not allow Obi eat your food when hosting him. Yes, we will not as long as Obi movement is concerned until you apologize. Who knows if your contribution in APC campaign is to do something nasty to the Scotto Obi's presidential quest. It will not work. My wonderful people, well, let me have your take on the comment section. I believe in the policies. If you cannot beat them, then you join them. Umaya is already seen the handwritten on the wall that a bony state is for Peter Obi without doubt. He has to be obedient and dirty immediately. All right, my wonderful people, that is coming from Giz. Thank you very much for your comment, my wonderful people. We are waiting to receiving your comment at the comment section. You have no choice than to obey this trend that is coming, but full force obedient is only the way for Nigerian future. That is coming from Giz as well. All right, the truth has been that uh, now you are making sense on legs when you we are suffering from what uh, Aziki was suffered betrayer just be obedient and you will become minister of wars because your transformational project in a bony state are, are transgenerational okay that is coming from Ikechuku. thank you very much Ikechuku with your phone that is coming from you labor party and obedient useful youth has uh, please shown your eyes shine your eyes for this one okay my wonderful people it's take all nigerian youth all surprising that to my this will be coming from a mind that this time around i like what p2b is doing in fact i'm going to host him publicly if p2b decides to come to ebony state on if believable unimaginable you can't believe that this is coming from Umahe. almighty Umahe. okay my wonderful people, what am I going to say? The truth has been that Umai has so many followers and is a man from the East who has so many followers and uh, people listen to him. But it's quite unfortunate that sometimes he said things that is not in line with uh, what uh, Obedient Movement or are uh, thinking about. So let's think twice this time around that he has uh, really apologized the best way to go for the bony state governor is not just the hosting of p2b but to join hands together with him against the current uh, administration okay that's the condition my wonderful people let me have your take from here i believe in politics if you can beat them you join them no public or no permanent enemy no permanent friend welcome on board governor omaya to obedient obedient come 2023 my wonderful people well let me have your take thanks and god bless